fight, you guys. I've been having some text messages going on with oh, uh, riding and wrenching. Slappy's Adventures. Slappy's Adventures. Lazy. Ugh. Oh, wait. No, it's Slappy's Adventures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 Oh. Come on in there, riding ranch, and you on here with those slappy adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Slap dizzles, what's up, man? You, you, you're on the video, by the way. This, this can you want to start cussing and saying bad words? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm a good guy. Yeah, I that, can do that today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that ain't never been your style. But uh, no, no man, that's how I change the tire. You know, um. So a Honda Go Wing, and, and just so the viewers know, I'm, I'm going to put an insert from your video to kind of give them a caption of what we're talking about. He laid his bike over, and I said that I didn't like seeing no bike. Them Harley, this person brand new Harley dropped on the ground, and he said, well, what does your Go Wing look like? It does the same thing. Now, I wouldn't mind having those drop guards on my crash guards on this Go Wing, yeah. and I'm going to look to see if they'll fit. Uh, but... To change the tire, I mean, you could jack it up and do all that. All you got to do is lay it on his right side. It's a single side swing arm. So it's just like your Mustang. You just take five lugs off, pull the damn thing off, and take it, get a tire change, and slip it back on. Really? So you don't have, what about, like, so on a Harley, to take the rear tire off, you got to deal with it. Yeah. So you got to take the rear axle out. You got to take the brake caliper off. No, you it's like. You have to remove the belt. Belt. Uh, this Yep, several steps. Then you got to back on a, a, a spacer. Then you got to have spacer. it tension. So we can change ours on the side of the road. Oh, we, really? Yeah. Now, when I went to uh, Alaska, I carried an extra gold wing rim with a, with a tire, with a motorcycle tire on it. Because there were so many gold wings with us. If somebody had a flat tire, we going to lay it on the side, pull them five lugs off, throw that other ram and tire on there, put his in the back of my trailer, we're going to keep it moving. Wow. Oh, that's good stuff there, man, because if, if you destroy a Harley tire, you scream. You're in trouble. <laughs> you, you're done. You, I mean, you're looking for a tow truck. <laughs> you screw. I have, I have had them, you know, bust or, or blow. Uh, since I've been running a car tire, we don't talk about that. I ain't had a blowout in, in 20 years, but... Uh, you know, when somebody blow a tire, we'll take his tire off. I'll put it in the back of my, on the back seat of my bike. If there's a tire shop open, i shoot it down there real quick while he's over there with, his, you know, hanging with his bike. Right. And then we get a tire change real quick. i shoot it back on there. We keep it moving. Wow. No, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. My last, I, I, I usually keep a, a tire patch kit. Yeah. When oh, I travel. Yeah. Right. But I had like two, three holes in the tire. I don't know what I had. A whole bunch of holes in the tire, man. It looks like I got shot up by a machine gun. So. <laughs> I see that. I see that video. You said that white dust. You seen that white dust, and it kind of let you. Well, yeah. Yeah. I said that go. I said, boy, he's having a hard time with them tires, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said about them car tires. You know, everybody say well, car tire, car tire. I said, man, it ain't for everybody. I don't really, I don't really preach it enough. I love it, you know, yeah. for, for one. But uh, it does kind of help with the blowouts. Plus, it's a run flat. So, you know, according to how run flats operate, you know, you got that new Mustang. You know, you have a flat tire, you can limp it 50 miles, they say. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I would do yeah. that on a motorcycle, but I at least yeah. get off the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Now that, that, yeah, my Mustang has, or my new Mustang, or newer, it's a 2012, and they new before, but yeah. that one has run flat tires on it because it don't have a spare. It don't have a spare, you're right. Uh-huh. No, yeah. I got no spare. Well, so. <laughs> but that's some great content, though. I seen them drop guards. I said, I want to fade that get my fit on my gold, Wayne. <laughs> 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 because I don't, I don't, I don't even want the dog on crash bar scratched up. I'd rather have it on the drop guard, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it is kind of like having suspenders in the belt because the, the, the crash guard, that's what's supposed to protect you. It's supposed to get scratched up. It is. Yeah, it is. Uh, but, but people don't even want no scratches on that. We don't want that's that. We don't want no scratches on that. And all my bikes, I mean, my bikes ain't show bikes. They get, I, I, I ride the shit out of them. I use them and abuse them. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep them clean and looking good, but doggone, they're they going to get well worked. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. how many miles you got on that go wing? I got ninety six thousand after that last trip, but I did eight thousand, uh, eight thousand three hundred on there with the car tire, and my car tire is not even scuffed in. Wow! But eight thousand miles. So when I laid, when I sent you that picture, I laid the, uh, my F six B over. I got thirty five thousand miles on it, and that tire it needed to be changed. So I changed it. That's why I laid it over, and put this another tire on it. So I'm getting okay. thirty five thousand miles out of these tires. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and the only only downfall with that is you have to remember because we got final drive or we got a, a drive shaft on all. It's like a car. We got a drive oh, really? shaft. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we got to make sure you change your final drive oil. Normally you would change that every time you change a tire, but since uh-huh. you ain't changing every thirty five thousand miles, you got to be mindful that I need to change my Ooh. final drive oil in about you know fifteen thousand miles. Right, right. You know, which ain't, ain't no bigger deal. And you got to make sure, you, you, you know, because when you're changing your tires, uh, they inspecting your brakes. So if you ain't changing right. your tires in 35,000 miles, you know you ain't getting 35,000 miles out of no brakes. Right. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah. You need to make sure you look down on them brakes, you know, every now and then just to, you know, do a, a visual look. But as far as tire, uh, you know, car tire, no, uh-uh, no. We, we, I, I, I'm, I'm I always do that, on, at least on the go wing. I'm always do it. Now, let, let me ask you a dark side question. I, I, I know you don't want to make your video too long, but all right. So having that car tire on and going on the dark side and going to all the cold, cold practice, all that stuff that Robert Simmons does. Can you do that on your go wing, you think? I could do that on the go wing with my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm like you in that last video. I hadn't practiced a whole lot, but... Uh, and they say I used to be. I used to be able to daggone drop that thing down and reach over there and touch the back of my trailer while I'm doing a, you know, a circle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could because I got a swivel in that trailer too. So we kind of, if, if let's say my bike lays over, uh, it's gonna swivel. It's not gonna pull the trailer with it. Right. Yeah. So yeah, but now nah, it, it's a, uh, yeah. Shoot, yeah, I'm telling you, man. Well, uh, now you're supposed to become the Knoxer for something, ain't you? Man, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be coming. <laughs> <laughs> what, when is that? Is it this weekend? That's the that's this coming weekend. That's the uh, the first Smoky Mountain bike rally. And that's at Bootlegger. Uh, I don't know where it's at. I have no idea. It's a flyer out there. If I can find out, I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah, send it to um, me because I heard you mention it. I'm like, oh, he's gonna be in town, yeah. so you don't think you gonna make it? I don't think so, man. Because we're having some problems on my job, and I might get stuck in town. Yeah. Uh. So, and, and it's looking like it right now. So I, I'm not even planning to go nowhere this weekend. I'm, I'm gonna be here. I heard that. Yeah, you like me. We 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 still got to work. I told them guys, y'all better be glad I ain't. Yeah, y'all better be glad I ain't retired. I show y'all some rides then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't kidding. I'm gonna do your Alaska ride. That's 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 on my bucket list. When you gonna do? Or Cause I, I retire. Nah, don't wait till you retire. I think I'm gonna do it again. Not in 2024. I think I might go to Nova Scotia, and just do a big old round trip. Go to Bar Harbor and uh, do what's that? Uh. The most northern point. I done been to Key West a bunch of times and got the southernest mm-hmm. point. I'm gonna do the northern point, um, but I want to do uh, Baxter and and go up through there. But I want to do some whale watching, and I'm thinking about doing it around the time they have the roundup. If uh, if if they have it in Columbus, Ohio, they send either Columbus or Texas. Oh, okay. And, and on the way back, I'll probably stop at the roundup for a couple of days and do a little camp and then come on home. But uh, but now 2025, I'm thinking about going back up that way uh, to Hyder. I know how to do it now. Cause uh, I, did, I I did I did the I first time. 
I ain't either. That's right. I, I don't know how y'all do that. I, I, I after seeing <laughs> I them, the after seeing them grizzlies, <laughs> after seeing them grizzlies and moose. No, I, I ain't sleeping outside that 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 far no, north. Sir. But uh, oh no, uh, no, yeah, I wouldn't go. You know what? Here's the funny thing about me camping. I'm a fair weather camper. I'm only gonna camp if it's perfect conditions. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm sorry I had to interrupt that, man. I have lost the last part of that footage. Rookie mistake. I don't know what happened, but that was riding the Richard. Cue the rider. He has the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. <laughs> That's what he says. I got it right that time, but we gonna plan something, man. You might see a gold wing and a Harley going down the highway doing some vlogging. But that was a good conversation. Been knowing him a couple of years. Met him at the first traveling talk, and we've been cool ever since. Good talk, bro. Peace.